Hi, I'm Ella Hall, the founder of Stitch Room. Welcome to my Brooklyn loft. So this is a converted factory building. I'm really looking forward to showing you how I've transformed this rental into the space that my family and I call home. When you walk in through the front door, you walk into the open living room and kitchen area. Immediately, you'll notice the original elements that were maintained from the original structure of the building. Exposed brick, exposed beams. We really wanted to maintain this industrial feel, but also bring in some softer elements. So I am the founder of Stitch Room, which is an online upholstery startup. Everything that you'll see in the apartment, I created myself. For example, the focal point of the living room, which is this banquette built in. Underneath the cushioned area, there's storage all along the base, and it also provides an ample amount of seating for guests. Although we are in this city, I wanted to bring some natural elements, as you can see the plants, but also within the color of the leather for the ottoman. I added extra padding to the ottoman to create a more functional, baby-friendly, yet still stylish piece for the space. Within the space, there was little separation between the living room and the kitchen, so I custom built an island using plywood and a fresh coat of black paint. Because it fits the space so perfectly, it looks like it came with the rental. I purchased inexpensive metal stools. I elevated them with some custom leather cushions. Something I love about the kitchen is that the shelving was actually created using reclaimed wood from the original structure of the building. Again, it's a detail that really makes this space unique. You're probably wondering why I have a disco ball. I brought it with me to every space that I've lived in New York City. It also adds a touch of glam and pizzazz. So this is a two bedroom home, but we needed the guest room to be multi-purpose. Not only does it house our guests, but it's also our home office and gym. The desk is a floating foldable desk, so it's adjustable to your needs. I created the drapery with style and function in mind. I love mohair, it's super chic and heavy, and it does a great job at dampening the sound, as well as creating a cozy, dark sleeping environment. Open spaces are great, but they come with challenges. You'll notice that there's no actual wall or structure between the living area and the master bedroom. In order to create separation, I installed a curtain track with drapery. Again, this is a multi-purpose room. It's where my husband and I sleep, and eventually our baby. I used two different rugs to separate the nursery nook from our space. I further defined our area by creating this awesome headboard. I kept the comforter white to keep it nice and soft, but then added throw pillows to really bring in some flair. So the nursery nook was really fun and exciting to create. Each piece was very thoughtful because I knew that this would be a special place in the house. The rocking chair is another piece that I found. I reupholstered it in a super soft boucle fabric. And then I went with mohair for the footstool. And I found this really cute mini crib to fit in our mini nursery. Thank you so much for visiting me in Williamsburg. I've put so much love and care into each piece that I've designed for my home, and I hope that I've inspired you to do the same within your home. Thanks for watching. Like what you see on the show? Well, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We have so many more beautiful homes to share. It's all about love. Share these homes, you know?